eight of the greatest stars in the game, playing for prize money totaling $220,000. In the World Invitational Tennis Classic, competing on equal terms for women, Yvonne Gulagong, Virginia Wade, Carrie Reed, Diane Fromholz, and four men, Bjorn Borg, Roscoe Tanner, John Newcomb, Vetus Garolitis. From Sea Pines Plantation, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, in the setting of incomparable beauty. First prize is $50,000, with $35,000 going to the runner-up. The best in world tennis. I'm Chris Shankle. My pleasure to welcome you back to the fifth annual World Invitational Tennis Classic. We're at the Stadium Court Sea Pines Racquet Club, Harbor Town, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, where it's beautiful. We have eight of the great tennis players in the world competing for the total prize money of $220,000. The most ever, so it promises to be the best tournament ever. Both Wimbledon champions are here, Virginia Wade, Bjorn Borg, joining former champions John Newcomb and Yvonne Gulagong, the Australian Open winner Kerry Reed, and from Australia, 21-year-old Diane Fromholtz. Defending champion Bjorn Borg will get a severe test in the very first match. His opponent is John Newcomb. Also in the men's bracket, the other two players in our field of four men, Vetus Garolitis and Roscoe Tanner. And as you know from previous World Invitational Tennis Classic competition, the court here is almost perfect, and we look forward to hard competition in not only singles, but doubles and mixed doubles as well. As in past years, we award one victory point for each match won, and the player scoring the most victory points will be our champion. First prize, $50,000, second, $35,000, third, $30,000, fourth, $25,000, and get this, if you finish fifth through eighth, $20,000. So with that kind of prize money on the line and the pride and reputation at stake, there won't be any let up throughout the series. I look forward each year to coming back here, our fifth, for many, many reasons here at Sea Pines. A big one is the fact that I get to join Pancho Gonzalez in making comments on the great game of tennis. He's our hero, our living legend, and here he is, Richard Pancho Gonzalez. Thank you, Chris. It's great to be back here again, and I also look forward to this competition. I think you have a great field. Well, let's put you on the spot early for a poncho prediction. Well, John Newcomb is never to be taken lightly because he's such a competitive player, and he's won all the championships. But I do believe that Bjorn Borg is just too strong, and on this surface, his favorite, he's got to win this one. Okay. Added dimension is the work of Andrea Kirby at Courtside with her interviews and comments. So let's join her right now. And what a way to make a living in the sunshine at Hilton Head. Well, Chris and Pancho, as you said, we've got a couple of heavies in this opening match. Bjorn Borg, one of the top players of our time, and John Newcomb, who's one of the most successful players of all time. In 1974, Nuke had a very big year. Then following that, he had an injury every single year, including 1977, which was the year he began his comeback. John understands it will be very important for him not to run out of steam against Borg. But Newcomb's a very smart player, and it will be interesting to see the kind of strategy he uses against Bjorn to try to to negate some of that advantage. Chris? Thank you, Andrea. We'll be back with the start of the Bjorn Borg John Newcomb match. Line umpires ready? Play. And that is the voice of umpire Mike Blanchard here on Hilton Head Island. John Newcomb, 33 years old, Sydney, Australia, making a comeback, Pancho. John's worked awfully hard, and uh, of course, when you've been off and you've had some injuries to the knees and things like that, you have to really try to get your competitive spirit back and uh, not allow it to upset your nerve system. So John's got a real uphill battle against Bjorn Borg, who's really uh, tough and has just overpowered the competition lately. Love 15. There's Borg, 21 years old, back-to-back -back Wimbledon titles. John Newcomb with three Wimbledon championships. A 
That's a good play by John. And there's a perfect lob. He held the shot back, allowing Borg to move in the wrong direction, and then just easily lobbed it to the corner, 15 all. You see the drop shot here by Borg. And there's John. He never took his eye off the ball, which made the shot that much easier. This is the fourth time that they have met. Newcomb leading 2-1 against Borg. Big looping forehand by Bjorn Borg. You see how he gets under the ball and comes right straight up. Very tough shot to handle on Clay because it really bounces high. Is he the king of topspin, Pancho? He has to be. He's the most consistent topspin player I have seen because topspin shots are very difficult to make. But this fellow makes them one right after the other, and it's a great passing shot. And uh, this is what I think gives him the advantage when they start playing on these clay courts. He's consistent, got a good passing shot, and right now he leads in this first game at 15-30. Newcomb, you know, is going to have his serve nullified with this slow court. Uh, he just will not be able to play his normal style of game, and I think that uh, this is where Borg has the big advantage. John now is pressing on that first serve, trying to hit it hard, and he's just a little bit off on it. There you see a top spin. John was sliding in the wrong direction, 15-40, and a break point here in the first game for Bjorn Borg. Our very first match in a series of 11 on the World Invitational Tennis Classic. And I might say, Chris, you know, when you're going to play on clay courts, I would have really feared this fellow. This Bjorn Borg is such a good clay court player. Well, he mishit that one, but John had the offensive position, and Borg was still able to anticipate, giving himself a chance, but John was right there. Still a chance to break serve for Bjorn Borg, 30-40. Very bright, warm day here at Sea Pines Racket Club. Cool Bjorn Borg. They say that he's got ice in his veins. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. He just never gets disturbed in any way. Yet a very sensitive and sincere guy. Oh, yeah. Super person. patience right here on this point. It's almost like sparring in boxing, Pancho, this first game. Wow. Good drop shot, followed up by a passing shot. Back to Deuce. Here's John running wide, and you see how he comes up, and he's got a good yeah. forehand, and he hits a top spin there for a perfect placement. He had to win it on that shot because he had no chance of getting back. Big server, John Newcomb. A good backhand offensive shot by John Newcomb produced an error. Advantage Newcomb. You're looking at the defending champion of the World Invitational Tennis Classic, Bjorn Borg. Now Newcomb. Ball just wide of the mark. Second serve. And again, we have aces competition. The player serving the most aces will receive a Ford Club wagon. John with a big forehand yes. going for a winning shot, hit it into the tape, back to Deuce. John is uh, attempting to hit that high bouncer from shoulder height. Boy, that is really a difficult shot. Usually you just try to hit that one in the center and play safe, but John went for a winner there and couldn't handle it. A good follow-up volley by John Newcomb. And he has a chance to hold his serve here in the first game. Borg, you can see, beginning to perspire already. It is a very warm day out here. Oh. And that ball by John Newcomb was just over the baseline, back to Deuce. As <laughs> Borg indicating to the spectators, some of them kind of feel that the ball was good, and Borg indicated it was out by three feet. 
was out a couple of inches, but it, uh, Clay, you know, leaves the mark on the court so you can tell exactly about how far it was out. Great addition to our field of eight players, John Newcomb. Forehand by John Newcomb is wide of the mark. Borg. Advantage Borg. Opportunity again for Bjorn to break serve here in the first game. A long first game. Right, best of three sets. And that serve by John Newcomb just wide of the mark. Second serve. Borg running wide and he breaks serve here in the First game of this match leads one love. And here at Sea Pines Racket Club, we're going to take a break and then return for the second game, first set, best of three competition. After winning the first game, Buren Borg serving to John Newcomb. Second game, first set. We're at Harbor Town, Hilton Head Island. Strategy by John Newcomb paid off. He's playing into Borg's forehand. Love 15, producing a weak error into the net. I don't really understand that strategy. I think Borg's forehand is one of the best in the game. And you see there how quickly Borg recovers for the overhead smash to the open court, 15 off. I'm afraid that John's in for a bad afternoon here because Borg, with his great speed of foot, uh, is just going to be able to handle those drop shots that John Newcomb has. And that's real good strategy from John with that drop shot because he opens up the court. But Borg just sort of loafs to the ball. 30-15. And Borg being 12 years younger and at the top of his game. Mentally as well as physically. Borg has, uh, in my opinion, uh, is a notch higher now than he was even last year. He's really got the poise and the confidence, and uh, the shots seem to be improving as well. I watched this uh, perfect angle backhand drop shot off of a let ball by John Newcomb, 30 all. You see the ball catches the net, starts to run away from John. John, from behind him, hits a right angle shot, perfect placement. Our first of two men's singles semifinals. Later, uh, Tanner will meet Garolitis to determine the finalists in men's singles competition. Of course, in the World Invitational Tennis Classic, we have men's and women's singles, doubles, and the mixed doubles as well. Drop shot was just wide of the mark. Game to Bjorn Borg, who seems to be handling everything John Newcomb can throw at him. He now leads two games to love in this first set. You're looking at America's new success car, the Ford Fairmont. Going to the winner, plus $50,000 in the World Invitational Tennis Classic. And here's a man that would like to win it, as he did one year ago here at the Sea Pines Racket Club. Newcomb to serve third game. John moving in on that forehand, oh, sliced 15. it deep, love 15, and I think Borg is probably the odds-on favorite to win this competition, but that's the best part of this competition is he still has to play a mixed doubles and a doubles, and he's not that great a doubles player, so this is where it makes it equal for every player. And all eight players love our simple and unique yeah, format. Yeah. It's very simple. A victory point for every match won, and the player with the most victory points, man or woman, wins the $50,000 first prize. Uh. And a little grunting from uh, Newcomb. Yes, John uh, tries to get depth on that serve, and sometimes it does pull on the stomach muscles, forcing you to grunt. Of course, you know, there are players that are trying to use all kinds of uh, karate grunts and everything, trying to get power, but nothing really helps. This is just kind of a relief. There's John trying to drop shot in the lob, and it's working so far. But Borg is too 
quick. Hard was back, good lob. Back into the net to the next drop shot and a volley down the line. Here you see him moving in for the drop shot. And he hits it down the line. Now John gets the lob over his head. He has to cover back. And he's just so quick. 15-30. There's a half volley drop shot by John Newcomb and a weak volley by John Newcomb, but he got away with it. 30 all. Borg, with his great speed, as you can see, was on both shots, but here he is again. John with the short volley. Borg moved back, but he couldn't quite get it down the line, and they are at 30 all. John trying desperately to maybe tire Borg out, which is a good tactic to keep him running back and forth. Maybe in the end it will begin to pay off, but I rather doubt it, Chris. Iron Man Borg back there is uh, one of the fittest players I think I've ever seen in the game of tennis. But this is what John really gets into when he starts to play because he's one of the brainiest, intelligent players, so he's got to try every move to see if he can penetrate some kind of a weakness that Borg might have. Great forehand approach by John Newcomb, 40-30, top spin cross court, and Borg just couldn't get to it. 40-30. Borg like. thinking things over there a little mm -hmm. bit. And uh, meanwhile, John Newcomb taking his time, checking that, that hand. Winning points on clay against Borg is a tough job. If you win them, you got to hit a lot of shots over the court, and John really has to hold concentration. A beautiful forehand. Down the line, wins the game for John Newcomb. So here in the first set, Borg leading two Borg games to one. Games we're going to take a break and then return. And now we're ready for the fourth game of the first set. Borg serving, leading two games to one. Newcomb won the last game here at Sea Pines Racket Club. And a lucky let ball volley off the backhand from John Newcomb. Love Wins 15. the point, love 15. The court playing absolutely beautiful. Groundsmen are taking just great care of this court. And that ball, I believe, hit just inside the line. Love 30. Here you see the reflexes and the intelligent shot of John Newcomb catching Borg off guard. An opportunity now for John to get back into this. First set. And Borg moving into the net. An unusual play for him because he's usually happy staying in the baseline. You see how many shots you have to hit on clay. And how much ground you have to cover. Right. I like that camera angle. Terrific. And John, weak off the backhand into the net. 30 all. 30 all. John looked like he got a little winded on that point. A little later on, we'll have uh, another feature that we've had for the past four years, and that's Pancho's pointers. Especially important today since it's Mother's Day. It's a treat for them, Richard. Thank you, Chris. Forehand, return of serve cross court by John Newcomb, right on the line. 30 40, 40. chance to break serve here for John and even the score in this first set. Drop shot attempt by John Newcomb into the net, back to Deuce. John trying to be casual about it. Apparently trying to be deceptive, but the only one he fooled was himself. And a backhand drive by John Newcomb into the net, advantage Borg.
Borg is so casual on that serve, you know, he just doesn't have to worry about winning points with it, so he just swings at it, gets it into the court, and then starts to play. Ah, and here he comes yes. up with a double fault. A little too casual. Back to Deuce. And this is the department where Borg says himself that he must improve to uh, continue on his big wins in the future is his serve. He can hit the ball as hard as anyone, but he misses too many of those first serves. And another drop shot attempt by Newcomb, wide Advantage of the mark, Borg. Advantage Borg. Pancho, you had many strong points as a great player. Wasn't uh, getting first serves in really one of your best? Well, my view always was that uh, that was the first opportunity to hit the ball, so be offensive <laughs> if possible. Give a very few had the natural talent you had. Well, I love to serve. There's a passing shot off the forehand by John Newcomb, back to Deuce. There you see Borg yes. moving in, but he hit it too much to the center, and John right there with a perfect shot just inside the line. And the forehand returned deep. Advantage, Advantage Borg. Borg. Borg leading here in the first set, two games to one. Started out with a very long first game on a very hot day on Hilton Head Island. And one of the few smiles you get from him on the tennis court. He loves to play here, you know, and I've talked to him. He really enjoys this competition. Game, Borg. And now Borg leads three games to one as he holds serve. And we move into the fifth game here in our very first match. A week from today, it'll be the ladies' doubles final. Virginia Wade, another Wimbledon champion, teamed with Diane Fromholtz going against Avon Gulagong and Kerry Reed. John still having trouble with that backhand drive approach. Just in to the tape. Love 15. And that ball, forehand by Borg, just wide of the mark. 15 all. John kind of taking a sigh back there because he thought for a moment it may drop in with that top spin that Borg puts in. Wiping the sweat off his brow. And there you see holding the shot, John Newcomb delaying his action. Borg moved first, and John hit to the open court. 15, or 30, 15. And a weak backhand from Borg into the net. 40, 15. And this match has to bring back some memories, pleasant ones for Newcomb, because in 73, after knee surgery, he won the United States Open and then beat Borg in the WCT in 1974. And as I said earlier, only the fourth time they have met. And that shot by John Newcomb just over the baseline, but you can see that John is no slouch in moving either. He was on the shot. Let ball here, returned cross court, and Borg tried to fake it, but John quickly was there, had the open court, but it just landed over the baseline. 40-30. Forehand, top spin by Borg, too difficult for Newcomb to handle, back to Deuce. John, who's able to get the advantage and get the games to deuce is having trouble winning the last point. And a beautiful forehand topspin down the line by Bjorn Borg. And another chance for Borg to break serve here in the fifth game of the first set. Serve just over the service line. And
and bouncing the ball out of Borg's reach back to Deuce. Yes. Beautiful approach there off the forehand by John Newcomb, moving in for the overhead smash. All our officials here are members of the Hilton Head Professional Umpires Association. But the head man in the chair is Mike Blanchard. We started way back in 1932. He's been around a long time. He's a super person, too. He knows all the players, and they don't argue with him. Backhand approach by John Newcomb. Advantage Newcomb. Borg probably thinking he was a little bit asleep on that one. <laughs> now Newcomb kind of falling asleep. Two easy shots by either player. Bad airs back to Deuce. You just can't have those kind of airs playing on clay. It, uh, it's such difficult work trying to win points, and then you just give them up like that. You may really feel kind of stupid. Placement backhand down the line by John Newcomb. Another opportunity here for Newcomb to hold serve. Good tactic by John because Bjorn is really not at home when he has to be brought into the net to volley. Hit volley by Bjorn Borg gives the game to John Newcomb. And here in our best of three set match, Bjorn Borg leads in the first set three games to two. In the World Invitational Tennis Classic, Bjorn Borg took a two love lead here in the first set. Newcomb is battle bat, but Borg leads three games to two. Six game. And you can see Borg moving in quickly off the short forehand from John Newcomb down the line. Forcing the air, 15, love. Oh, great. Cross-court backhand by John Newcomb, just angled out of the reach of Bjorn Borg, 15 all. Those are pretty hard shots to practice, aren't they? Well, they're shots that are very difficult to make because you can't get any leverage from the shoulder height. So you just sort of hit them in the center. And 30, hit for the angle, 15. and that's what John did. Their forehand wide of the mark, Borg at 30 15. <laughs> and the approach by Bjorn Borg over the baseline, 30 all. Bjorn now seeming to have a little more feel for the game, is attempting to get into the net off of his approach shots. depth that John has off of his shots. Oh, good backhand drop volley by Bjorn Borg, 40-30, stretching. 40, Here's 30. a forehand cross court, and you can see Bjorn is sneaking in there, and he stretches for that short drop shot, perfect placement. And the Not forehand by John Newcomb, Borg. deep over the baseline, game to Bjorn Borg, who now leads four games to two. He leads four games to two. He's breathing a little bit, too. Yes. So, there he is. You can see that he's a little winded. With his travel schedule, it's amazing that he can even get up for these matches. He's all over the world, it seems, week in and week out. He does travel a lot, and he plays a lot of tennis, but uh, this is probably why he has to concentrate so much. And that backhand lob by Borg is over the baseline, 15 love, but it was just over, and John kind of lazily let it go. If it had hit inside the line, he'd have been in trouble. You must run for every shot until you know it's been called out. Backhand down the line, just wide, 15 all. John Newcomb with his back to us, playing in the second World Invitational Tennis Classic. This is our fifth annual event. 
where the total prize money is two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Fifty to the winner, thirty-five for second, thirty for third, twenty-five for fourth. Borg moving into the net, forcing the air from John Newcomb, fifteen thirty. You see our little ball boys there who are doing this just for the satisfaction of being around the name players. Picking up the balls. A good volley by John Newcomb, 30 all. I have a feeling the spectators like to be around them, at least to watch them, because we have a very attentive and knowledgeable crowd here today. And uh, tickets are hard to come by. They are, and uh, I think this is particularly good event simply because the people are right on top of the tennis court and they get to see uh, a lot of the player himself and the way he executes his shots. And a good backhand down the line 30, by Bjorn Borg produced the air 30-40. Borg now the defending champion. Oh. Oh. Okay. And a break again for Bjorn Borg who now leads five games. Bjorn Borg leading John Newcomb five games to two in the first set. Borg to serve, back-to-back -back Wimbledon champion. Newcomb winning three Wimbledon titles. And Borg back with a big serve, followed up by a beautiful forehand approach, produced a lob over the baseline, 15 love. And Bjorn, sensing that he's maybe tiring John Newcomb a little, or Certainly getting him out of court. Moving in there now at 30 love. Pancho two weeks from today, Roscoe Tanner and Vitas Garolitis go head to head to meet the winner then of this match. And there you will see one of the truly big serves the game has ever had. Roscoe Tanner, big left-hander. Set point here for Bjorn Borg, 40 love, leading five games to two. Backhand was pulled wide of the mark. 40-15, still set point for Bjorn Borg. Pancho Bjorn gets that ball very high when he's ready to serve. Yes, he's a little bit uh, uh, relaxed on uh, clay. He doesn't go for the big one. He kind of thinks it's wasted effort because the, ret the returns of serve are, are pretty good. That top spin law by John Newcomb over the baseline. The first set to Bjorn Borg, six games to two. Comfortably with two service breaks. Now ready to start in the second set. And obviously wanting to successfully defend his World Invitational Tennis Classic title. John moving in with that big high forehand flat right to the corner, 15 love. Strong first point, first game, second set. John Newcomb at 33 years of age. Should be just about at the peak prime of his, although you couldn't tell it by that, that particular shot, a half volley, he didn't even get up to the net, so he swung at it twice. A no, no, 15 all. But John at 33 should be just about at his peak. Uh, and I think physically, though, uh, playing against a guy like Borg on this clay is, is what may do him in. With his back to the wall. Now there's a move by Bjorn Borg that most people didn't see, but that backhand from John Newcomb hit right on the line, and Borg had to take a 
swing at it because the ball skipped on him. Some of the corrective measures that the professionals have to make to make up for some of the bad bounces that uh, spectators can't see, and uh, he really got quick hands. And it sure helps when you have youth on your side. <laughs> yes, good eyes, good hands. 15:30. John Newcomb serving in trouble immediately here in the first game of the second set. And there you see Borg moving in, but John with a big forehand down the line saves the point, 30 all. You see Bjorn moving in here, a perfect shot down the line. John lunges at it. Borg just couldn't get his racket on it. Oh! Big serve by John, just over the service line. Notice how John plants his left foot up at the line. Perfect service swing. Not so perfect on that forehand. The ball seemed to jump at him and he mishit it over the baseline. A break point for Bjorn Borg here in the second set. Big point for John, but Bjorn, of course, liked to break serve here and, and, and just put a Tremendous amount of pressure on John Newcomb. Backhand, hook, topspin by Bjorn Borg, just over the sideline, back to Deuce. Bjorn has a very unusual double-hander off of his backhand. You know, most of the players who hit double-handers now, they hit a lot with the body, but Bjorn Borg hits it with a lot of wrist, and it's very difficult to read the shot. And there you see that movement by John Newcomb holding the shot to the last moment till Borg commits himself, then hits to the open court, wrong footing him. Advantage, Newcomb. So here in the first game of the second set, John Newcomb wins it. Back with us for the second year, Andrea Kirby. John, it looked like you might have been getting a little stiff in that first set. You were pacing a little bit. How are you feeling? Well, I haven't played many singles matches, and I haven't played in this humidity for a long time. I haven't played on clay. So I was really hesitant in the first set to, to go all out and, and put everything I had into my serve. I wanted to see how I felt. I'm not feeling too bad now. I really had a lot of chance in that first set. There were three or four games I had game points. Could have turned around easy if I hadn't have you know, being so worried about my condition. But now this means to win it, you have to win two more. Yeah, but if I had have done everything in the first set, I would have had nothing left to win the match. I feel right now, I feel as though I can go two more sets, but we'll have to see how it goes. I'll try and attack now, see if I can get some, you know, easy points on his serve quick up. Good luck in the second set. Okay. And now a perfect time for Pancho's pointers. Thank you, Chris. John Newcomb with one of the best serves in the game of tennis. You see how he turns and completely extends way up to the ball, and this is where he gets his fantastic power. Follows through on the opposite side of his body, positions himself right in the middle of the court for the next shot, gets his racket back early, notice how he keeps his eye on the ball, and then he attacks the shot. As soon as his body turns from the follow through, he'll immediately get back into the center of the court, ready for the next shot, always on the balls of his feet, Moving quickly to his forehand, he hits the ball, leaves the ground a little bit. As soon as he plants himself on the ground, he'll immediately come back to the center position of the baseline. Very important to recover back to the center of the court. Here he goes wider, slices the forehand. As soon as his feet hit the ground, he starts to quickly recover back to the center of the court. Trying to get back as quickly as possible makes the next shot that much easier. Now you see him run a little wider for the forehand. This time he gets way off his feet. He'll slide a little bit on the clay. Now he starts to run back, side steps, a little bit like a dance. And then he just prances in with his front foot forward on the backhand and it looks like he's attempting a drop shot with a lot of spin, as you can see from the follow through. The first time that you ever beat John Newcomb was in 1976 in a challenge match. What's the difference in the way he's playing now? Has he slowed down at all? I think he slowed down a little bit. I think he's a little bit slower and uh, 
I think, you know, he's getting a little bit older you now too. So I think he was a little bit better shape, say, for maybe two, three years ago than he is now. He seems to be moving you around a little bit. Well, he's, I mean, he's not that bad player, I tell you. <laughs> I have to work really hard, you know, I have to play well to beat him, so. He says he can take the next two, he's feeling a lot stronger. Well, I don't think he will take the next two. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now back to Chris and Pancho. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here we take a look at uh, Bjorn Borg's style of play. He has a forehand. As you can see, he hits with an open stance. But I wouldn't recommend this shot for the average player. Bjorn can get away with it because he has an arm of steel. Quickly, he moves into the center of the court, moving, always moving, getting set. Backhand, right foot planted. You can see he leaned forward, shifted his weight. A perfect backhand, double-handed shot by Bjorn Borg. Now he lays his racket back, another backhand. You can see that his rear foot comes off of the ground, indicating that he has shifted his weight, and he never takes his eye off the ball. Watches it carefully. Now he runs wide again with his open stance. And here on this shot, he actually fell backwards. But this is the extraordinary strength that Bjorn Borg has in his forehand, enabling him to be able to do this. Back to the backhand, he moves backwards. And then he gets set and leans into the shot, quickly moves back up to the baseline, ready for the next shot. Now he moves in on this backhand. It's a low backhand, so he plays it safe. He underslices it. And I would recommend that the way to hit a low ball, wait for the opportunity to hit your waist level shot or above waist level where you can drive the ball. The low ones, play them safe. Here's a top spin by Bjorn Borg. And he also sidesteps and dances back to the center of the court. Now he has to move in quickly for the drop shot. As you can see, he gets traction. As he hits the ball, he times his slide so he stops just as he finishes his shot. Now he moves into the center of the court for the next shot. It's a lob over his head. Long strides by Bjorn Borg moving backwards. Even in slow motion, he looks fast. And to give himself an opportunity to stay in the point, he hits a very high lob. Bjorn Borg leading John Newcomb two games to one in the second set best of three. Now serving in the fourth game. Here at the World Invitational Tennis Classic, eight players, four men and four women, competing for the total prize money of $220,000. John Newcomb, his second appearance in our series. Borg, the defending champion. Love 15. Love 15. Our unique format where the winner of a match receives a victory point conceived by the Ford division of the Ford Motor Company. Our fifth year. Fifteen all. Fifteen all, and the umpire in the chair, Mike Blanchard. And interesting that uh, two very powerful hitters like we have here, and I don't think that we've had an ace yet in this competition for the Ford. Ah, uh, that club wagon. Yeah. Here you see Bjorn being pressed back, and he hits a rather weak shot, and John easily puts it away for a placement. 15-30. John keeping good depth on his shot, forces another error from Bjorn Borg. 15-40, and an opportunity for John to break serve here in the fourth game of the second set, which he needs desperately as he trails and we have the first ace of the match for Bjorn Borg who now trails in this game 30-40 and here it is completely fooling John Newcomb off the backhand side Newcomb still here with a break point opportunity John moves in on a return of serve and Bjorn's passing shot down the line, caught the tape, went by John Newcomb, back to Deuce. Bjorn still having trouble getting that first serve over the net. A lot of power, but a little bit erratic. 
A good recovery there by Bjorn Borg, but John right up there for the easy placement advantage, John Newcomb. John hit that ball like a little beginner. He just put it out there in front, so played it very safely. John taking his time, moving in nicely off that backhand approach cross court, and game to Newcomb, score now two all in this second set. And it's the first time that Borg's service has been broken in our first match in a series of 11. Games are two all. Next week, we have the ladies' doubles final. Well, John has been flirting with the uh, possibility of breaking Newcomb's serve in the first set, but he couldn't quite make it, and that time he did, and he needs it because Borg winning the first set six games to two. John with now with a high backhand volley cross court, 15 love. So John has got to pick up the tempo a little bit to get back into this match. A little more power into the serve, but it was deep of the service line. And we must remind our viewers that we have mixed doubles competition in future weeks here on the World Invitational Tennis Classic. Borg and Gulagong against Tanner and Reed and Newcomb Fromholtz against Garolitis and Wade. Those are super matches. I really enjoy watching those mixed doubles events. I love your commentary on them. Good forehand, deep into the backhand corner by John Newcomb. 30 love. Bjorn being pressed a little bit. Looks a little concerned there. Uh, he doesn't really uh, look to me like he wants this match to go too long. He's uh, he may be feeling the the heat a little bit. Oh! Again, John with a lot of power behind the serve, but it was wide of the mark. Recovery by Bjorn Borg quickly from behind him, but John was right there. Here's Bjorn with the volley. John made a great lob over Bjorn Borg's head. And look at this move by Borg, but John, as you can see, didn't take any chances, right on the ball, and now 40 love. First serve over the service line. And Borg's volley over the baseline, giving this game to John Newcomb. For the first time in our match, John Newcomb has the lead and taking it here in the second set. Having lost the first set, two games to six to this man, Bjorn Borg. And John jumping on that forehand, the first serve by Bjorn Borg. John just leaped into it right down the line, love 15. That's the most offensive shot that John has made in this match. Well, he made a very undecided movement there. He was coming into the net, but a little slow and a little lazy. The ball caught him at his feet, and he had to half volley it over the baseline, 15 all. Hit some great shots there on that game, John did, and I think maybe he's uh, beginning to feel it a little bit. Oh, good volley here by Bjorn Borg. 30-15. 30-15. The speed and the power of both these players is picking up now. <coughs> Borg wanting to 40, close the match 15. out, and John, of course, trying to stay alive. Borg serving at 40-15, John leading the second set three games to two. And a service on the second serve ace by Bjorn Borg gives him two aces in this match. And John was really surprised by that second serve. So Bjorn Borg in the lead. And to the player with the most aces after 11 matches here on ABC, will receive a Ford Club wagon. Beautiful prize, Pancho. I've seen it. It really is beautiful. John Newcomb serving. 
just not finding the reins. That serve caught the top of the net. Ah. Good. Backhand approach. On the rise by John Newcomb. Wrong footing Borg. Produced the air. 15 love. John is moving a little quicker now, Chris, and he's trying to get into this match. Forcing himself, which he feels that he has to do. He's, he himself has said he hasn't had that much singles competition, and he's trying to get back into this. I think physically he's all right. And a mishit forehand by Borg. 30 love. Didn't have that usual Borg sound. No, but you know when you hit a topspin shot like that, you hit and you hitting with a smaller face of the racket. You're going to miss hit a lot of uh, shots like that on the wood and things. And Borg gets away with a lot of winners because he miss hits and surprises his opponent. But uh, he is fairly consistent with it. Thirty, fifteen. It's his speed of foot that makes that shot so great. John just cannot get the range on that serve. He's talking to himself, get it up. His uh, swing was a little bit early and just hooked the ball right into the net. Now he has trouble with his second serve. Double fall, 30 all. Doesn't seem to be using his leg movement into the serve. He's, uh, he's extended long before he should be. And uh, if his legs were a little bit bent, well then he'd be able to lean, lift up to the ball. Might the sun be bothering him? From this end, yes, it's possible, but he's, he's knowledgeable enough to know how to avoid that. You know, you have to hit to one side or the other of the sun when it's in that position. There's where the sun might have, might have bothered John on that overhead smash. 30-40, break point now for Bjorn Borg. And a very lazy movement by John on that first serve. Very high backhand smash attempt by Bjorn Borg, wide of the mark, back to Deuce. And there's Virginia Wade, the reigning Wimbledon champion. Next week, you'll see Virginia here on the World Invitational Tennis Classic in the finals of the women's doubles. And John misjudging that backhand. Might have taken a bad bounce, but uh, sure looked like he made just a bad air. Advantage Borg. Another opportunity for Borg here to break this serve and take the lead in the second set. And that drop volley attempt by Newcomb into the net game to Bjorn Borg. And here at Center Court, Sea Pines Racquet Club will be returning with more of our first match in a series of 11. Our winners are determined in a best of three set match. Jurenborg serving to John Newcomb, leading four games to three, second set. He won the first set six games to two. And you can see John Newcomb there attempting a drop shot still against Bjorn Borg, and I, I, I don't understand it at all because Borg has gotten to all of them, and, and it's too risky a shot. John is just not making them good enough. So it's 15 love for Borg. Good depth by John. Force that air, 15 all. Good serve by Bjorn Borg, produced a short ball that he moved in on quickly, 30-15. Borg also having trouble with his first serve. A 
And a wild forehand return of serve as John tried to move into it. 40-15. There's what you see when you have an arm swing on a on a first serve. Boy's just not getting enough body into it. Okay. He swung a good wide second serve, produced the air, and game to Bjorn Borg, who now leads five games to three. And Bjorn Borg only one game away from victory in our first match. To the player serving the most aces, man or woman, goes this Ford Club wagon. Ford's roomiest wagon, the king of clubs. Bjorn Borg leading with two aces, and here is John Newcomb to serve in the ninth game, second set. And patience paying off for here John Newcomb on. as he lays in the backcourt, plays for depth, 15 love. Must be an unusual situation for John to, in the history of tennis, be known as one of the biggest servers of all time, and here Borg is leading him in the aces department two to nothing. Mm -hmm. Second serve attempt was just wide on mark by John Newcomb, 15 all. Borg has a very erratic type of serve, but I'm, I'm telling you, I think that Borg will go down as probably hitting the ball as hard as any man I have ever seen, even on the serve. Well, two weeks from today, you can see another hard hitter in Roscoe Tanner. As he goes against Vitas Garolitis. What a great round of this is. And John couldn't stand it any longer, had to make a big swing at that backhand. It went wide of the mark, 15-30. And he is really in trouble now. It served just over the service line again. Moving in, had a good, easy, high backhand volley, but he caught the tape. 30 all. Two points from victory here is Bjorn Borg, and John, of course, trying to still stay alive in this match. Great approach shot by John Newcomb as he slid that one right down 40, the line. 40-30. Wide serve. Set that shot up for John Newcomb. Oh. It's incredible. <laughs> you know, he, he just over the service line by about a foot on every one of his first serves. by John Newcomb and a beautiful cross-court drop shot volley gives the game to Newcomb. In the World Invitational Tennis Classic, here's the 10th game of the second set. John, desperately trying to stay alive, moves in quickly on that forehand approach. Strong shot, love 15. A victory point going to the winner of each of our matches. And the player, one of the eight, four men, four women, at the end of it all, with the most victory points, wins the $50,000 first prize. A very lazy backhand yeah, over the baseline all. by John Newcomb, 15 all. Pancho, we're very happy that our viewers are with us today in our first match in a series of 11, and we have a reminder that next week, the World Invitational Tennis Classic will be on at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central Time. 30, That's next week. Thank you, Chris. 30-15 now as John overhits over the baseline. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and John 
and again over hitting a little bit late on his forehand drive over the baseline and we have Borg now at match point 40-15. The defending champion. Oh. And you see John get up there and moves in on the second. He goes in behind it. And a risky shot producing a great backhand cross court from Bjorn Borg and he wins the match six games to two and six games to four. Bjorn Borg with one victory point as we'll now be going down to courtside and Andrea Kirby to get a reaction from the loser, John Newcomb. Here's Andrea. John, you said you had at least one good year of tennis left in you and we certainly got to see that this afternoon. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not, uh, you know, disappointed. I think there were there were probably three, three governing factors in the match was Bjorn didn't make you know, hardly any unforced errors. I made too many unforced errors and my inability to get a lot of first serves in, especially hard first serves. I didn't have any timing on the serve, probably because I haven't played on clay very much at all and the, the ball gets a little heavier. You need a different type of serve on clay than you do to indoor tennis or, you know, on on a harder surface outside. That evens the series between you two and two. Would you like to meet him on grass next? I love playing him on grass, yeah. I, I don't mind playing Bjorn. I enjoy his, you know, playing against his game. I, I don't feel he's got anything that can really hurt me. You know, that doesn't mean I can, I can beat him when I play him, but I feel that, you know, I can determine what happens in the match. Good luck. Thanks, now back to Chris. After this short break, we'll hear from Bjorn Borg. Bjorn, we've never had anyone win two WITCs, and plus you're shooting for a third straight Wimbledon. Are you still motivated to be that successful to continue to win? Yeah, my ambition this year is to win Wimbledon for the third time, and uh, I know it's going to be even more difficult than this year than it was last year. So, but you know, I will give it a try, and if I'm in good shape, I think I have a pretty good chance. Why would you think it would be more difficult? Because the competition gets tougher and tougher for each year and more young players coming up and if, if you see in the world now so many good players around you know 15 and up to 21 my age so it's going to be very tough. It's, it's hard to imagine someone your age talking <laughs> about younger players. <laughs> Even when you are 100% physically well, it, it's amazing mm. how, how you play. Yeah I'm not in that great sh shape for the moment but um, I will be you know in 100% shape for Wimbledon. Certainly for Wimbledon. Yeah. Okay. Good luck in the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Thanks. Chris? Well done, Andrea Kirby, and the same to you, Pancho, and your predictions, you are one love. <laughs> well, you're not going to be far off if you go along with Bjorn Borg. In other words, you're picking him from the overall championship again? I really do. I think he's uh, fitter than he thinks he is. He's very relaxed and uh, getting a lot of pace off that ball with uh, the least amount of effort. Since you're predicting overall winner so uh, quickly, I'm going to go against you because I am going to pick. Virginia Wade. Well, I think you're on a very, very good competitive player. The women are playing next week in the doubles competition, and I think they're more competitive. They, they are really being driven to win this competition uh, more than I think the men are. All right, and Virginia Wade will be paired with Diane Fromholz of Australia, and Yvonne Gulagong will have as her partner, Carrie Reed. So for Andrea Kirby and Pancho Gonzalez, I'm Chris Shankel saying so long from Sea Pines Racquet Club.